Hi, thank you so much for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com. And today I'm really happy to talk to you about a new trend in e-commerce called augmented reality. So some analysts are estimating that as much as $130 billion will be injected into the augmented reality um, industry by 2020 in regards to e-commerce sales. So what does that mean? Well, I think most of us got our introduction to um, this thing called augmented reality when the Pokemon Go uh, game came out during that craze. The idea that you can look through your camera on your phone and you can see, you know, not realistic things, but you can see um, augmented reality, meaning like an alternate or a fake reality, is kind of cool. And Playing a game is one thing, but it, when you can actually translate that into a meaningful e-commerce experience that will generate um, extra sales because the user is actually finding high value in the experience, I think there's something to be said in that. And so, Google has already um, published the Tango project and invested $1.4 billion into Magic Leap technology. And I think we remember the Google Glass technology that was kind of a flop, but now here's this Magic Leap. Magic Leap looks like this, okay? Um, Apple is working on ArcKit. ArcKit is actually a part of what I'm gonna show you now in the House app. Um, that's the platform that they use to do the augmented reality that is in their e-commerce platform. Snapchat has estimated to have spent $40 million to acquire um, an augmented reality company. And, uh, you know, Facebook paid $2 billion for Oculus. So it just goes on and on here how much money is being invested in augmented reality so that it can boost uh, an e-commerce um, e store's experience and help generate more revenue. So, so here, this article is really interesting to me, but I want to actually take a look at this app with you for the first time. I, um, I also never really used an e-commerce augmented reality app before today. And when I did, it was kind of cool. So I just want to show it, show it to you, show you what that looks like. So here, if I go into my mobile device to the house app here, it's an e-commerce store, okay? And I'm looking at um, furniture and I'm looking at um, different lighting and I'm looking at home decor, okay? So what you do here is you go right into the camera, okay? So when I'm in the camera, I'm looking now at my office, right? I'm looking at this bookshelf. Well, let's say if I wanted to replace that bookshelf. Uh, all right, let's replace it with this bookshelf. Why not? It's sitting right there. Okay, so let me get started on that on that little project there that is fitting this to the space here. So let's fit that to the space like that, kind of. And I guess I guess what I'm doing here is I'm just... I'm just trying to determine whether or not this piece of furniture is going to look right in this spot right here. All right, so there it is. I go ahead, I put that in the spot, and then it lets me go ahead and freeze that and take a picture of it. So now I'm looking at a bookshelf at a, on an e-commerce platform, and I've replaced the bookshelf in my office with the bookshelf there, and I like the way it looks. So this is augmented reality, and now what I can actually do here See if it lets me. I can actually, now that I've decided that I like the way that looks, I can actually go like this, add it right to my shopping list, right to my cart, okay? And now it is right here in my shopping cart, right here. Okay, so I had already added one before, so there now there were two. So this is it, man. This is this is me using augmented reality right now to size a bookshelf up against the wall and then to go ahead and if I wanted, I'd go ahead and purchase it. So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about augmented reality and e-commerce. E now, we've fantasized for so long about virtual reality shopping, and I think augmented reality shopping is probably a, the, the next logical step that we would get more familiar with sizing things up and sort of like seeing them digitally before we buy them. Uh, but I do think we're only probably 10 or 15 years away from full on, um, full on immersive technological experiences where we're able to browse goods. I don't know how tactile things will ever get, that we will ever be able to feel them or sense them any, any way other than visually. But there's definitely something to be said about the biggest companies in the world investing so much money in making e-commerce more entertaining, right? So anyway, thank you so much for coming back. 
It was my pleasure to show you augmented reality in regards to e-commerce and retail sales. I, it was fun to show you the house app. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can check me out on Facebook and on LinkedIn. I'm Matt at mywebbro.com. I'm Matt at dashwow.com. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.